Hey, residents of Meeple Town. Today, we are merchants Boom. building up Glasgow. We're going to be moving up the river, brokering contracts. We're going to be working with architects to put buildings out onto the board and at the end of the game to see who has the most points. Let's get to the table and check out Glasgow. All right, Meeple Town, we have Glasgow set up. We are ready to play this thing. You ready to dive in, buddy? I am, but before. But before? We actually talked about this on our podcast. If you want to hear a, you know, an in-depth, sensible, nonsense kind of thing, just check out our podcast. Yeah, and if you feel so inclined to subscribe to our channel, hit the, hit the subscribe button. We would really appreciate if that. If you feel so inclined to send us money, you can send us money. It is Christmas time. Hey, if you feel so inclined to send us a unicorn, just, just I mean, send it on over. <laughs> if you want to send us your games, send us your games. Are, Are we, we ready? I don't even know what we're talking about. Let's at this play point. through Glasgow. That's what I want to do. Let's do it. All right. So it's super simple the way the turns work, right, Dean? That's right. So this is whoever's last on this little rondelle here, whoever's in last place. It's their turn. So it could be your turn multiple times in a row. <laughs> I just happened to put mine there. I did. No, I, I shuffled. You didn't see me. Oh, do no, that. no, no. I didn't see you do that. Okay. I thought you usually don't ever pay attention like to, to anything there. that I do. Well, that's. <laughs> so it would be Dean's turn. He is a green player. He's simply going to place his feller. His meeple out on one of these spots, on a contract spot or an architect spot, either basically getting resources or building. That's and the right. building will go in the center. You'll see how the rest of the game plays out as we play. So make your first move, Dini. Well, these are That's interesting. That is really interesting. Yes, this is random every single time, so it t um, changes the game. So the very first tiles that stuff. come out, I don't oh, think no. that's ever happened to us, is the whiskey barrel, which I'm going to take. Uh, the whiskey barrel, there's only one whiskey barrel in the game. So if John later on decides that he also wants to take the whiskey barrel, he's going to steal it from me instead of taking it from the supply. That's right. So Dean's going to want to get rid of that before we get back around. That's right. Probably. That's right. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of stuff to buy here. But anyway, now John's behind me, so he's going to go. Yeah. So a couple things that I'm thinking, this is not bad to go ahead and double up on some more um, redstone. Dean and I messed that up in the podcast, by the way. That's we right. We thought it was brick, but that just shows us that we're it's, silly it's even, Americans. It's even on the box, I right? Know, let, me see that, let me see that box. No, what is it? Oh, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. Never mind. <laughs> I don't. Is it on any of the buildings? Redstone? So far, this playthrough is not yeah, good. I think super, that's, that's redstone on that super building hot. over there, probably. Yeah. So this is redstone. <laughs> Anyways, an interesting thing, though, is, is this tile allows you to the next tile you go to get twice. You get mm. double that amount. Um, so you could get build two buildings here for cheaper than you have to pay uh, coins to build extra buildings. But I think I am just going to go ahead and get a couple more redstone and start building up that. Yep. And what I'll do... Because if I go here, then Dean can get that. So we're also going to be, when we go in these architect spots, building these buildings. And none of these are going to be able to build be built this time. Now, if John skipped over this and allowed me to... Well, is that right? He's not going to be Actually, able to build. I can. I can build this. Uh, he you, can because this is wild and that can be a coin. That's right. So I'm just going to do... Ooh, do I want to just jump up and take that? That's a huge tile. That's a... Serious tile. Up. This is tricky. So I think what I'm going to do is mm. go here. Even though I might not take advantage of it, it's preventing John from being yeah. able to get double. Because so. I can't get this because I don't have the right. gold. Um, and that's exactly what I would have done is double <clears> up <throat> on the, yeah. the iron there. So... Interesting. I don't um, have any reason to jump. I'm just going to go here and grab one. There we go. Um, yeah, I am glad that I did that. Although I, I did kind of hate wasting an action to do that. So now I'm going to go to the architect, and that's going to allow me to buy either of these that are listed right here. And the only one that I can buy is the pay a redstone, a great one to have pay my whiskey barrel for a coin, and to pay that to put a train station. Now the first one is just going to go out there. And you're going to be building a four by five grid. Once you've d established the parameters of, let's say we put four or five tiles wide. Well, four then by we five know, or five by four. Or five by four. So then we know then that we're only going to be able to go four high uh, and vice versa. So I, yeah, I'm just going to buy that one. A new one automatically comes right out. Oops, slide it down. Yeah, a new one comes out. I just like to do that. And then oh, if I, if I was for able me, to, actually. now now John can. It's good for um, me. I didn't quite think about that, you being able to build the next one. Yeah. Um, but if I wanted to, which I cannot do because I can't afford it, I can pay a coin and then pay the cost of a building to buy a second building. Um, and then so on and so forth. You can do that multiple times, but I can't do it. So that's the end of my turn. That's exactly right. So 
I will go here. Now I was didn't really want to build this building because it costs three stone, the redstone, but it's worth five points only if it's in the corner of the grid. Yeah, and so that's getting that one, super but... early is 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 tough because Dean could pretty easily eliminate the five points. You do get one point for that. But I like the tenements, which is what I'm gonna grab here, because it is worth one point automatically. And then I th I'll just do this, it doesn't really matter yeah. too much. Um, and then for <laughs> every tenement that's touching, Right, what? We're used to playing this game across the table from each other, and so... Oh, we're going to have to do that. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll have... I'll be over there. Yeah, on the tile, you sit across from the table from each other. The arrow points to the side that is yeah. yours. So John's going to be the one pointing that way. I'll be the one pointing this way. There you go. We're going to think through that. Yeah, it's okay. So <laughs> that was an easy fix. It was an easy fix, yeah. So um, for every other tenement that I have next to it, it's worth three additional points. So that's going to happen. I will flip over the next tile. But as Dean... Ooh, a factory... That would be nice. Yeah, that would be that, nice. Those help build a little engine. You'll see that as we go, but I don't have a coin, so I can't build it. But because I arrived here last, I now get to go again. And I am going to jump up here and grab a coin because yeah. coins can be super valuable in this game. Yeah. But then I'm also giving Dean the opportunity to grab that and then go ahead. Yeah. Which is good for him. Um, a slight clarification to earlier to what I said. So I said you have to pay a coin to get that second one. Now, because I had taken this tile here, that the contract here that allows you to double up on your next action, you could technically have. I could have bought that, but I didn't have enough anyway. So I just wanted to make that clarification. Obviously, I'm going to take this because it's just a free steal Freebie. for me. It's a steal. It's a steal. Let me hey. steal that steal. And so I can take this contract, which will reset one of the architects. I can do this one, which will trigger factories. We don't have any factories mm -hmm. yet. So I guess I could start working maybe on parks. That's really the only thing that I can afford. I really want that one. And you would like to steal that from me, but... I cannot. So I now cannot. I can go here and reset that to prevent John from doing that. And the fact that I don't really care about either one of those that much, I think I will do that. Yeah. Um, so what I'll do is reset this one. We're but just I don't discard have, these I don't have the resources to do that. But he is taking, momentarily at least, that tenement out of the game. That's right. That's right. And now another part and it can come, come back. Out. If these get flipped through, oh. we're, the game ends when we build the, the finish the grid. So. That actually really benefited John because a train station Super came benefited. out, which is... I didn't mention this. Train station, when you get all these four different symbols, you're going to get 10 points. John can't afford that. I can't. So took a little bit of a risk Quite there. excellent. And actually. it did not pay off. So I will. I, there's no factories to set off. So really not much of a point of going there. Yeah. I will go here. I will absolutely buy this. And I will absolutely stick it over here because I don't want to cover up any of those spots. That's the other thing. Yeah. Um, okay. And then <laughs> I... Do not have a coin. I will flip over another one. There goes the other tenement right there. I still can't afford that. Now I can afford a park, which means I'm gonna I might start going with parks, but parks are kind of a set collection thing. The more you get, the better, the more points you're gonna you get. get um, one, depending on going one to six parks, one to thirty six victory points. Yeah. If you were to get all of the parks, which that's really tough. I'll pay a steal and put it mostly to try to block some of these spaces off here. Yeah. Parks don't have to be in any kind of contiguous uh, line or anything like that. Um, I will not be able to buy the second one uh, because I don't have a coin and I only have one steal anyway. So I just really need a lot of resources. I'm going to take a steal and a redstone and back over to John. Yep. Um, wow, this is tough. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, I'm just gonna go grab a redstone real quick and see what see what Dean does. You really gotta kind of get into your opponent's head here. Yeah. And then also you may take stuff just to block and prevent folks from taking stuff. That's right. Ooh, this is a tough one. Now I'm looking up here to see what I can afford, and I know that I can afford that park. Um and that would be helpful. I'm really gonna have to start focusing on parks. But what I can also do is Maybe take some of these. So this one allows you to trade goods in for other goods. And this one allows you, this contract allows you to take a tile, flip it over. And if you can build it, you can just go ahead and straight up build it. Otherwise, you're going to take the uh, the resource listed on the left-hand side. A little bit of a risk. <sighs> but all resources are good, especially early, this early in the game. You won't be able to reset that one. I'm trying to think about what you need the most. You might just try to get rid of that park. I'm gonna. Ugh, I'm just gonna jump up there and take it. Sometimes you gotta take that yeah. risk, right? 
which is probably going to be a while before I take my turn. But at I least was really wrestling with what to do with that park being getting out a little there because I don't points. want you to keep getting more. See, that's the negative to you grabbing know, that tenement. Yeah, is with not having the resources to grab another one immediately. Like he can just so quickly start blocking me off. And so that's going to really stink if that's only worth one point at the end of the game. But it might very possibly will be. All right, I'm going to flip this yeah, over Yeah, there's still, you. you still have another Ah, there's another tenement right there. Well, no, John's going to try to go there. Literally perfect for me. So I can actually go, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to exchange one iron for a redstone. So I can for sure get it. There's there's a lot there's a lot of luck when it comes to some of those tiles flipping sure, out yeah. and uh, yeah. getting them at the right time. Then I'm gonna go here. Let's just see what happens. You're gonna um, take a redstone anyway. Yeah, I'm unless you want to build. No, no, I'm gonna take the redstone. <laughs> I mean, I would I would actually think about building this, and this is gonna be um, a bank, which means I would score one victory point per redstone that I have at the end of the game, so I could have up to five points on this. But taking the redstone away prevents me from using it to That's right. grab I that turn this card over. Oh, nice catch. There we go. How about Ayo? <clears throat> and I will take some more <laughs> redstone. So, with that being said, I were, yeah. Nobody can afford those other ones. No. Which is, those I, are a lot of points. If that hadn't happened, I was actually tempted to trade a redstone in for a iron and go ahead and grab this landmark. Because landmarks would help me towards this goal, but also it's just straight up six points. That's yeah. a lot of points. I will go here and build this because I definitely don't want that to only be worth one point at the end of the game. Now the game is going to end whenever we do finish this grid up, the four by five grid, or five by four. All right, factories are starting to come out. All right, still you, John. Yeah. Um, yeah this is interesting. You got that whiskey barrel there. Yeah, let's, I mean, what's interesting, th these are both really tempting. Yeah. Especially with the reality that I need to build more tenements and there's one over here. Like, I, I normally wouldn't be giving the strategy stuff and I'm telling <laughs> you all this to be, but I'm seeing this over here going, having more redstone is super positive. There's no other way to get it. However, this could be one redstone, which could be the second one to grab that. Ah! Yeah. Tough, to, it's, it's, it's actually, that's a little bit of a tough decision, but I'm gonna go <clears throat> with the flexibility, I think at the moment. All right, John's gonna take that contract. I've got a choice. I could take the take the redstone. I could go to the two and then potentially be able to get this. But I think what I'm gonna do is get this redstone. Now, yeah. again, giving some of my strategy away. What I'm doing is I'm kind of eyeing some of these contracts. Yeah. This one costs three bricks. It's a shop, uh, not brick stone. Redstone. This one cost an uh, steel and is a the first and only factory. Actually, there's another factory up there. The first factory that came out is this. So we have a chance. I have a chance of getting that. If John takes one of these, I'll be able to jump up and. It's a really well. It's, that's what I was looking at. Was this is really tough. I actually want that factory. I yeah, would like to too. be able to build that factory. I have the resources. I can jump up and take it. But if I do, I'm giving him two, because um, he's going to go here. Then he's probably going to go here. I'm giving him two of the the steel, and then he's going to go here, and then he gets to go again. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm giving him probably three moves in order to get that, and. I like the idea of a redstone factory because you know the tenements that I was I'm, I'm trying to get some more of those because I mean putting it right here now this one's all of a sudden worth six points seven yeah. points because of that that's a lot of points in the game um, wow that is a tough call but yeah. it also doesn't guarantee that I get this Dean could still jump take that and stump all the way over here and just steal it from me or go here and wipe it out and part so, of me wants to because I don't want John to get more and more of those points yeah because of that. I'm just gonna jump up here and grab the steel and put Dean in a little bit of a, probably not his, he's probably just gonna jump up. I don't, I, well, I don't mind it. Cause now if I take this double build action, then I don't have to pay a coin to buy a second if one. You, if, if it comes out and if it's something- And you can do that right now if you wanted to. Um, right, I could. You have the resources yeah. to do that. Yeah, so I will, I will just go ahead and take that one. I am gonna pay the steel. And the steel, uh, excuse me, the factories, when you get a factory, it's going mm. to, <clears throat> excuse me. So, so this game puts you in some really tough. It does. It's really going to, it'll help me. So what happens is this is going to trigger whenever somebody places one in a column or row of this one. And so putting it here, now I could put it here and know that I'm going to get one, two, three, potentially four times that it'll trigger. Here will be a good spot too. So I'm gonna put it here. It doesn't trigger right away, it'll trigger later on. Then a new one comes out, and if I can afford this to buy it, which I cannot. Yeah. Now I can Ooh, buy this one. Literally perfect for me. But the problem with oh, that is a shop is not helpful. A shop gives you one point 
just by itself and you five points if you have in the corner we don't know where the corner is going to be yet so if i put it here and then john ends up building a tile and putting it here yeah uh, you can put it up here but if you put it up there then this could go I'm gonna I, can just, I can just go up top and screw right. them up. I'm just going to save my resources, I think. I'm in a real think. predicament here, I feel like. A real tight spot. I am because I like this tile a lot. I need a landmark. Yeah. I have the exact resources to do it. It's worth five points. However, I really like this tenement here. Yeah. And if I decide to get that, there goes my redstone. I can't get enough to get that um, now, which really stinks. And so I'm actually... I'm actually just not going to go to that spot, I think. Yeah. I was really tempted to do that. I'm, 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 I'm going to go ahead and grab another coin. Well, I have a coin. Okay. A wild that, uh, that kind of surprised me a little bit. I thought you might... I thought you might... Go there and take that. Because John is going to need to get a tenement. Or, not a tenement. A, a landmark. A landmark. Now, so am I. Um, now, what I can do... And this is taking a risk. I can go here and reset this one again, hoping that nothing good comes out, but something even better could come out. You know, mm -hmm. you just never know. There's still another train station. We each have a train station, which was worth a lot. I think I am going to take the risk, though. I don't want another tenement to come out. It could be that two tenements come out and John is able to afford both of them. But that's just a risk I'm going to take. There's a park. There's a park, which is great for you. It's good for me. And then there is a shop, which is wow. good for nobody. That's, so actually, that, that paid off for me. That's a really good move for you. <clears throat> so now what I'm going to do is steal this park yeah. for two reasons. Yeah. One, I don't want him to keep getting it. But I also have to have a park in order to yeah. fulfill my 10 points. So, But I'm going to let him set his thing off and then go here. Yeah. And then I'm also, who knows what comes out. It may mm -hmm. be something perfect that exactly what Dean wants. Um, taking all my tenements, you sack of dung. Oh man, <laughs> that's really harsh. Um, where do I want to put this thing? I think you could put it here. somewhere down here. Block yeah. some of your tenements off, maybe. Let's see, what do you have? Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? This is gonna get set off a bunch of times in this game. Right now, he has plenty of redstone, so let me just set it off right now. He doesn't. Let's go ahead. It's gonna. I mean, it's gonna happen. Yeah. They're gonna get put in the row where the column is gonna get set off. So let's just do it right now. I think. Okay. So there's that. Then we're gonna flip. And another part comes out. That is exactly what I needed to happen. But I can spend my. Oh yeah, you can. You can. And, and getting a second part for you is not a terrible thing either because it I'm gives you do more it. points. Yeah. I'm gonna actually spend the whiskey barrel because we're getting closer to coming oh, back yeah. around to there. Yeah. And that, and so I'm going to do another park. I would love for his thing to be all the way to the top so that I could just start setting some of those off. I'm not going to give him another one at the moment, I don't think. Maybe I should. Um, yeah, I'm just going to stick that right there. One, two, three, four. It's four by four right now, so we still have not figured out those parameters quite yet. Yeah. Um, ugh. If I go here, then he still he could build here and build a shop. And that would be the corner for darn sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I build here, then it's one, two, three. If he builds the fourth, still mm, goes the fifth. But then it could go up one higher. Yeah. So I'm going to build there. Okay. Because <laughs> it's not set in stone that way. <clears throat> so now John, has his, John is, is, is doing much better than me right now. Now John can not buy another one. Um, if he had another resource, he could, because he does have another gold, but doesn't have what he needs. So I think I might as well go ahead and trigger this. Now what happens here is it triggers that factory. You pick a factory and then you trigger that and then um, the ones that are in the column or row that you choose. So um, uh, yeah, so I will take my redstone. Dang it, I should have triggered that. Yeah. That was my You should fault. have, because I was about to anyway. Yeah. Um, I forgot that that was there. I will go ahead and Dang take it. this. So stupid. Now, I won't be able to buy a second one if it comes out. Idiot. But, you all right? You all right? You could <laughs> I'm going to go into my hood. <laughs> um, no, I don't have to trigger this right now. I can, but I don't necessarily need to, right? With your trigger finger. With my trigger finger. Um, what I do want to do for sure is block John. Now, I could do this set the parameters of this and then not trigger that. I kind of think that's what I'm going to... Oh, no, that's still a four, right? 
four. That's a four. You never put that one up there. I thought you were going to. Mm -hmm. So so that's a four by four. We still don't know where the parameters are. We'll flip another one over. I'm not going to trigger my sandstone. Excuse me. Oh, look stone. at there, but you don't have I it. I can't afford it. Yeah. Wow. The parks are coming out in full effect, huh? Yeah. I really need... I'm going to slow play a little bit. It's I really think. hard not to take that stone. Mm -hmm. and It really is. I am, I'm going to slow play this a little bit. I will take a redstone and a steel. Yep. Um, I, ugh, I, don't, I don't love that because I really, you know, there's some stuff up here that I would like. I just can't get it. I don't have any coins. I've not gotten yeah, a single I've coin get the, the whole resources, game. So I'm going to play a little, slow play it a little like yeah. Deanie right now to see what he does. I will jump up and take, take this because I've got to be able to get a coin at some point. Now, I can spend a steel to get a coin. You can do these as many times as you want, except the first one. You can only do that one time. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to spend a steel. Ooh, I kind of like some of that stuff, though. That's all right. I'm going to spend one steel to take a coin. I'm taking a little bit of a risk here. And then I do think I will spend two, two of these stones to take another coin. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't really love that, but <clears throat> it's a good way to get coins. Oh. John keeps taking this spot down here. There's not been a factory that came that came out with a coin. This is what, I'm in a really tough spot here. I think this is actually really great for you because the reason I feel like I'm in a very tough spot is number one is in order to get my ten points at the end of the game, I still have to build a factory and I still have to build a landmark. Right now, that's the only factory out there. Yeah, and I can build it if I do that, which I probably will. It's going to let Dean take a free something and then take, again, whatever he wants. And who knows what is going to come out. But I do think I need to make sure that I get the factory. I just think I need to make sure I get the factory, um, which is going to cost me two of the redstone. I'm going to place it. The fact shops aren't there, so it's not as critical. I think you should trigger one of my factories. <clears throat> I think that would be the best move for you. Nope. I would have loved to before you did all that nonsense <laughs> over there. Um, I'm not doing it at this point. That is an interesting thing of when to trigger their factories. Um, if I go here, I'll set the parameters. That will It'll be five and four, and that would. But there's no shops up there, so that's okay. Let's just let's just play it. Yeah, there are two shops mm. out on the board. They're just. <clears throat> that could that could really impact things. Look at that! that. There goes a shop. There we go. Now, ah. obviously, I will go here. Um, Hey, this could be something that I could build too, which would be even better, could right? Be. Uh, a there tenement. That's a tenement. I do. Do you need tenements? No, you don't need tenements for your train station. Uh, so I think I will just take the redstone to kind of set myself up. Um, although, okay, so if I you do place there, if I place this here, this does benefit John, but it also benefits me. It's this, a wash. Yeah, it is a wash. Um, so I would rather. I think I would rather set myself up because I really need. I it's need some smart. of that other stuff. Actually. It's smart because even though it's a wash, he only has one place now to yeah. place that. So it doesn't really... That's a big risk. It's yeah. probably going to be worth one point. Okay, now I will jump up here. I would love to be able to get that. But honestly, that's I know you're eyeing that three landmark. steel. Uh, but I do need a landmark. So I'm going to pay that. That's six points. And take this one. No, five points. Oh, you're... I'm taking, oh, I can't afford the other landmark. one. Yeah, I oh. can't afford the other one. So I will place it here. Again, to stop to John. Me. So that makes those worth four points a piece. That's right. And we'll flip another one over. And I doubt I'll buy this one, but potentially. Another landmark. Yeah, I can't afford it. Yes, you um, can. Oh, no, you can't. I'd have to pay another Sorry. coin. Yeah. So I will jump here, and I will pay a coin. For a shop. For a shop. Yeah, this game really turned poorly quickly for me. <laughs> uh, and then I will put this here. Now that we have, the, we have three out of the four where you can build on, I guess. I, John, I still think you're in, in good... A good place. Now, I, I do have my factory. I have my landmark. I've got a park. Um, I do not have the... Um, what is the other building? I forget what it's... That's the tenement. Um, oh, right, right. I did need the tenement. That's right. It. I forgot that I don't have that. Yeah, I probably should have done that, but that's okay. Because there may not be that many left in that stack. Yeah, that is Depends true. Depends on how fast we build this up, but that would be amazing for me if he didn't get that. <laughs> I could have bought that. That would be super fantastic. Why did I not buy that? I forgot that that is what I need. I don't um, know, but it's Dean's turn again. So oh me yeah, jumping up to get that was was rough. All right, I will jump over here. Um, did I trigger? I did. When I placed this, I did trigger. Oh, you triggered mine. Thank you. Um, that's my steal. No, it's mine. I didn't have it the right way. No, that's yours. This is mine. Oh, you bought one. I bought one earlier on. Yeah. Oh. 
So that's my M- steal. Bobby. No, I did place another one that also I was triggered. From you. That's that was not funny the first I time. I also triggered my um my redstone there. Yeah. I could have totally bought that tenement. I could have afforded all of the yeah. things that I did and and got the tenement. What am I thinking, John? Well, I I it was really I forgot like, that I do need that. I placed that in kind of a bad spot because there's no more row, but also didn't want to set his off again before he got that. It kind of put me in a little of a pickle. I guess I could have put it there though, and then I would have set it off one time. But no, there's already three in that row. There's nothing in this row, so yeah. I'm going to set it off four times. Anyway, whatever. I didn't want to think that hard. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go here and just grab some more. Speaking of not think that hard, some more redstone. All right. Um, and let Dean make this decision now. I it is a decision, but I, here's the thing. I think John can he cannot afford this. Okay. Now you could jump up, but you can't reset it either. You can't afford either one of these. So I think what I'll do is I might just jump up and take the steel. Yeah. And let me think through this. Yeah, I'll do that. You don't have enough to afford any of that. Is that right? Yeah, steel. Now if John goes here and then, well, he'd have to go again. So yeah, I did the right thing. I'm good with so that. So I am gonna go here. I'm glad he did that actually, because I could jump here and get a double steel if yeah. I want. Um, if he didn't do that, I would have gotten one steel, but I still wouldn't have had enough to afford anything. I could also go and get a double coin, which is super intriguing for me right now. However, if I wanna build a shop, if I want another park, I have to have steel. So even though this is super intriguing for me to jump up and grab two coins, two, coins are tough in this game, yeah. I'm not gonna do it. And that means I'm gonna let him basically take two coins because he's gonna do it. All right, I'm gonna risk this a little bit. It's not a huge risk, but I'm gonna pay, instead of buying this, is this one, which is gonna be worth six points where I place it, I'm gonna buy the one that's worth five points in hopes that a tenement comes out because a tenement is gonna cost me two, two stone. And wow. and I have the whiskey that I can use for my coin. So I'm just taking a risk and a chance that a tenement might come out. So I will take this. You're also keeping the landmark for landmark, me. Landmark, and I can trigger true. both of my buildings by doing that too. So I'll do that. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. So I'm gonna get a Dang it. stone and a steal right back. And, and your let's engine's so this much one over. Than mine. Not a tenement, and I cannot afford that one out. Excellent. But I will go ahead and buy the shop, get rid of this whiskey barrel. I'm, You're killing me right it's now. It's looking man. more and more like I'm not going to be able to buy the. You're killing me. I'm the getting tenement. destroyed. The thing is, if I would have bought that tenement and I could have afforded it, it's if still, I I'm lose still getting because destroyed. of that, if I lose because of that, John, I'm flipping the table. I'm just telling you right now. You're you're whipping me right now. All right. I have more buildings. Uh, here's a factory I mean, you have that came 10 out. Ten points, 11, twelve points worth of shops that I don't have. You have the landmark. You beat me in this game every time. But my train station is not worth anything right now. It's your turn again. It is. I've made a couple of jumps ahead that I yeah. think have hurt, like, because I really wanted a building to try to complete this 10 and to get a tenement, and I think it's really hurt me in the game because he's been able to s scrape up a bunch of resources. I need a coin, so I will go ahead and, and just take a coin. Now I'm in another bad position. I'm in another bad position where I'm gonna jump too far ahead. Dean's gonna get to reset this. I don't think he'll want to. I think he's gonna want the park, but he's gonna get to set his little engine off again and get a stone or a steel, but I've got to jump. I don't have to, but this is worth six points for me right now, and I cannot give Dean another six points. Yeah. If, if, I, if I don't take this, yeah, you're right. then he's gonna do it. Now, the park's worth five points for him right now, because from going, if you have three, two to three, it goes from four to nine points, but I think he still would've taken that, that's an extra point. Maybe not. Maybe he would've just taken the park. But he's stealing the other one from me. Stopping me from getting it whenever he gets that. So I technically pay these two, but I'm gonna get a steal back. And so you're not you're not gonna get the park because you wanna be able to get one of those up. What's that? What's that, John? This was the Something only chance that I had to beat Dean, I think, was to stop him from getting his 10 points. I do those. like that. Literally the only chance I had. And you can't afford and it. And here I go again. Losing to Dean again. Here we go. Have again. you beat me? Have you beat me every single time? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Probably not. No, I don't think so. I don't think I have. Um, I'm gonna find out. All right. Now I do need that. Obviously, that's gonna cost me two redstone. I only have one. However, I can go up here and trigger this. 
Yep, I'll do that. So that's going to give, I'll trigger this factory tile here, which is gonna give me a redstone. And I do, I have to take that. You're gonna win on camera? So I will take that by paying the two redstone. And you have beat me every single time in this game. Excellent. You are. Way to go, Dean. Yeah, the first game we tied and then you had the deck of tiebreaker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll put this here. It almost, yep. it, in some ways it doesn't Dang matter it. where I place this because I'm not gonna get any po tenement points probably, but the big thing is that I completed my train station. That's what I really needed to do. Now, it's possible that another train station is gonna come out I don't think, have we discarded a train station? No. So it, that that's a good thing it's that's going, going to come to out. You. There's a good chance it's going to, I mean. That's an early one. That's a good one early on, but right now it doesn't really matter. Now getting that part. There's only three spaces left. Yeah. And there's, you know, so we'll see. So I kind of need to get what I can take while I can get it. So I'm going to pay a coin yeah. to buy that other tile to buy the park. And then hopefully the train station will come out. This is not even close. Now. This game is uh, actually, hopefully close. it doesn't come out because if we can end the game before that train station comes out, that would be beneficial. All right, so I'll take this and I think what I'll do is trigger my, I'll trigger my steel right there to give myself a steel and that will be, you get to go again. Oh, that's right. See, this is, <clears throat> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was getting mad. The end of the game was so tricky and easy to, um, yeah, okay. To, to win? Yeah. <laughs> Are you bitter? Are you mad? No, not at all. All right, so here's- Yeah, a, I just took the resources. So the challenge for me is, honestly, I mean, I'm gonna lose, but I still don't have a landmark. So I still don't get the 10 points. Which stinks, because if I decide to go to get some more resources to build something up, he's just gonna go and jump and take, you know- Anything. What, anything, so yeah. I can't let him do that. So what I'm gonna do is just jump all the way up here to build this landmark. And what that's gonna do is guarantee that he's gonna to get to buy the last building, which is horrible. Then I am gonna break that, there. but I don't have a- Now if train station comes out now, could that help me? It didn't. It's a bank. A bank came out giving you two points for every factory that you have. I've got two factories, so that's four points. That's not bad. Uh, I will want to trigger the game. So I'm going to just take the resources that I can get. Um, and then pick whatever you want. I most. need that. Uh, but it's hard to tell this what. Is, this is terrible. Uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go. beating that bass that someone stuck a banana in my pants and turned yeah. a monkey loose. <laughs> What's that from? Christmas vacation, right? No, no. No? No. What did you say? Vegas vacation. Oh, Vegas vacation. That's, That's right. That's whenever. Right. Uh, okay, so I'm trading in that steel for a gold coin so that I can get as many points as I possibly can get. Hey, I might as well go ahead and do this because I know. if a train station comes out and I then can it's afford it. it's even worse. It is, and I can't afford it. No! <laughs> Look at that. So I can't, that, that was super lucky. Oh. I will I mean, that. you had a 25% a chance. Yeah, so true. lucky, maybe, maybe not super, <laughs> but pretty lucky. So that completes our board. That ends oh, Lord. the game. So now we're going to add up our points, right? Yeah. All right. I'm going to grab my phone. He's going to grab his phone. Do you want to do this in order of how it says on the, um, how it says on there? Or are we just going to go through and let's do just go through thing? it. Okay. All right. Would you say for parks, three parks is worth nine points? Or maybe let's just go through it like this. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that way we can talk about it together. So uh, yeah, so let's first start off with the shops. Okay. I have five points and Dean has 10. Uh, no, they're actually, there's one point in the top right, so you actually get- Oh, my bad, one. I'm so sorry, it's gonna six. be 12 yeah. and six. Yeah. All right, then we go to parks and I have two, Dean has three, so I get four points, Dean gets nine. Nine, this is a good, so, this is a good so start, far, I like so this. Horrible. Dude, you killed me, it's not even close. <laughs> train stations, you get 20 points, I get 10 points. <laughs> I did complete two train stations. You doubled Let me my make sure I, I did get the landmark, I got the factory, I got the you park. Did. Okay, there we go, just make sure. Um, all right, so then the tenements, which this is the only thing I'm probably gonna score higher in him, it is. I'm gonna get uh, four points a piece there, so eight points. And that's only gonna be one point for me because it's not near anything else. Well, but I needed it anyway, so it was worth Landmarks, it. I only get four. Uh, I've got five. I think that was the only landmark I had. Is that right? I started off the game well and then it really went south fast. Yeah, five, five points for that landmark, so not a lot. <laughs> Lastly, banks, which no one has banks. Um, but we also do get the too. factory score one point a piece. Two, so that's actually not a huge, I've had bigger scores. 33 to 49. 49. <laughs> 49 is not a ton of points is what I was getting at, but I did whip you. Well, I mean, it depends on, yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends on how the titles come out and stuff. So you can't, it, you can't disappoint yourself. Like, That's very true. You could have played it. Wow, that was not even. You didn't like I'm, that. I'm 0-4 against you, Dean. 
Now, even if this didn't come out, I would have won, right? I, oh, even yeah. If, even oh, yeah, if I yeah, didn't yeah. get this, I yeah, could have yeah. bought one of those. This was just icing on the cake, I guess. It was, it was <laughs> smearing my face in the mud. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the art and components. All right. Okay, so the art and components. What do you think, John? I really like the art in this game quite a bit. I think it's really nice. I like these characters. I think that they're absolutely fantastic. This is Clemens Franz, isn't it? It is. It actually says somebody different on... Oh. Uh, what was I looking? BGG or somewhere I was, or the rule book. The rule book says something different, but BGG says Clemens Franz. Just really love the characters. I mean, yeah. I do. Like, I think, and the buildings are all nice, nice, like, kind of cartoony thing, but for some reason, I really like that. You don't like the box, you've said before. Yeah, that's the, my least favorite thing about I'm cool the, with the box. I like I, it. I, it's, it's fine. It's just, I don't know. Should have done it like that. Whoops. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Eventually, I'll get it accurate. <laughs> yeah, I don't uh, think it's bad. I just, I like the art on the tiles. Should have had lot. that in the middle. Uh oh. Hopefully, that doesn't look bad. What's going on there? There we go. I don't, I don't know. But I don't, I don't dislike it. It's fine. Okay. But the rest of the art? Yeah, I like. I really like the art on the tiles. I like the thickness of the tiles. I like These the resources. Nice. The player yeah. boards are nice. Um, for what, you know, it's a small box two-player like game. Like a twenty-five dollar game that mostly has tiles as the components. So the extra details that, they, nice. that were added, I really, I enjoyed that. I'm super happy with the art and components, yeah. especially for the price point on this game. Now, what about the gameplay? Okay, so let's talk about gameplay. Gameplay. Yes. Didn't notice that we didn't put the box back here like we've been doing. So we just so threw we it up there. It. We did. It looks kind of little, a little beady. Well, it is. In the distance. It, is a little it box. actually isn't that it's big, a, which is nice. Two player, two player small box lookout game, right? I like it. Gameplay. Is the game fun? Dean, uh, I think look at you smiling. I think it's fun. You're yeah. ready to go, baby. <laughs> so this game, we, we talked, about this, talked about it on the podcast, and I referred to it as like a kind of an intro to a Glenn Moore type of game. You know, just this Rondell. It teaches Rondell going, really simply. Yeah, and, and so the gameplay itself is really simple. You're just going around getting these contracts to pick up resources and do different actions. But the big part is building the buildings from the architect mm -hmm. and the timing. You know, but everything is pretty simple as far as gameplay goes, which I really enjoy. I like that. I like that this game plays quickly, that it's simple. Um, I, I think the tiles are interesting in how they play, um, you know, how they play off of each other. You know, you're triggering sure. factories. Yeah. The way the tenements go on there is interesting. The way that you block the tenements, the way that the shops, like there's each, each tile has its own like very unique piece to it sure, and, I, yeah. and I think that's really interesting yeah that's a cool. part that I do I like is the way that when you're placing them in here there is a lot of player in a decent amount of player interaction in that and I like that it's and it's not really um, it's definitely not a, it's not too mean I, mean I guess people could get upset about blocking your tenements off and stuff but you got to do that I mean you mm -hmm. know in this game uh, but if you really don't like take that there are a couple little takey that elements which would be that yeah, takey that which would also be this where you could like remove something from yeah. somebody but I mean overall I didn't I play this with my wife who was pretty um, anti take that and she didn't mention that at all like it didn't bother her at all that you could block people off and you could do that so and that's that's kind of you know top placement a lot of that like lends itself to I like that. that kind of take but I, I like the player interaction with it and then like the way you're setting off the factories is another way that you're putting them in there um, which again is is player interaction there's some pieces like the parks that don't matter as much but they can be used to block things yeah so and, when you place them it does matter and the four by five or five by and four and taking them from other people in other spots even if you don't need it just preventing yeah. them from getting getting it. I, I think I want to mention this real fast, John, because, you know, if there are tiles, contract tiles that you don't like, yeah. you know, if this one does feel to take that, which I don't think it is, but if you feel that way, there, you only remove two of the tiles um, to start the game off when you're doing setup. So you could just, just remove the that. one that you don't like, I guess. Yeah, but, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good point. Um, but I do like what you said. I like the simplicity of the Rondell. I like how this is a really great way to teach people that mechanic. Yeah. Really great, like, gateway style game and a nice, quick game. Mm -hmm. 30 minutes. 30, -ish. 40 minutes. Something we were like a little that, bit more yeah. than that, I think, during I think that so, play. Yeah. But we were talking through a lot of what we were doing instead of just making the moves and even showing our hands. So. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I like that as well. What about, are, do you have any negatives on this one? So I know you're going to talk about the, um, you're going to talk about the, the luck in that. So I'm going to leave that for okay. you. Um, but that is, it is a negative for, for me as well. Um, uh, one of the things, now I talked about this on the podcast too, and I still, during the podcast, I wasn't quite sure, and I still don't know exactly how I feel about this, but when you are the first one to show up on the architect tile, you're there, the second person comes in, and then they'll get to leave from there and go first. Now, it makes jumping ahead to those tiles, you have to think through that a little bit more. I think That's the, why I think I lost, actually. was I think I jumped a little ahead too much, which would give him one or two spots, and, and yeah, then, the and next then get one. the next one. Yeah, yeah. So I, 
I, again, I don't know how I feel about that, but it's it's less, I guess because you have to plan for it that way, mm-hmm. it becomes less of an issue for me the more and more that I play. But that is kind of a negative. I think partly in the the first time we played it, I got the rule wrong. Um, not, oh, on, yeah. you know, not on the camera, but when you and I played, uh, I thought when you got in there first, you take the left spot so that you can leave first. I don't know. I don't know if, which way I prefer, I guess, yeah. but it's not a super negative, but that is more of a negative. Now, the big negative is... Yeah, I mean, so for the, the big negative for me, and here's... Uh, we talked about this on the podcast. Um, I think the designer of this game absolutely... And what's his name again? Let me just make sure we get that right. Yep. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh, there's another game sitting down there. Oh, goodness. Little, 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 little surprise. Little Steve Finn, right? <laughs> Oh yeah, so we got uh, Mandela Fernandez Grandon is mm-hmm. is the designer of this. Now this is his. I don't uh, know why I just handed that to you. I don't know. I guess you like for me to pronounce things. I wanted to take a drink of coffee. Uh, this is his first design. <laughs> yeah, and I think that he. Uh, I need to finish my train of thought. Absolutely accomplish what he meant to accomplish in this sure. game. One hundred percent. This is a simple game. Uh, medium light, I would say. Medium lightish. More on the yeah yeah medium light. Yeah, good. medium good. lightish. Yeah. Um, a game where there is some luck in this game. And again, you saw that play out multiple times. And in my favor, remember early in the yeah. game, I think I jumped out to a lead, and I think it was because those tiles were flipping in my favor, and I got some of those things. <laughs> and even they were you. Flipping in my favor. They were, yeah, that's right. <laughs> even when you went here no, and you it. got one, one flipped over perfect for me to go and grab it up early in the game. Yeah. But as the game shifted, you noticed that they were flipping in Dean's favor, and he started to, to take the lead. That, but it wasn't just because of that reason for sure. Yeah. But I, that's that for me. That's a negative. If, if I, 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 I wish that there was, um, you know, a, maybe a mechanic where there's three here. You can buy the bottom two. When that one gets bought, maybe that falls down there, and now you have a chance on those two instead of just being a completely kind of blind draw. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I needed. Or, or. Oh shoot, that is not what I needed, and it helps my opponent behind here. Mm-hmm. But you got to think about that, I guess, when you're playing the game. Not it's this tile does the same thing because it's a it's random a total draw. random draw, and you, you just can't get whatever build. that is. I, I feel like most of the time when I've used this tile, it's been because I wanted to just gain a resource. I agree uh, with that, as opposed. But sometimes it does fall in your favor, like it did for me at the end of the game to be able to yeah, just buy the tile. Yeah, that was perfect for you. And so that's that's for me. That is a not a. Uh, a critical blow to this game. I still like this game. It's just something my personal taste would like that luck mitigated in the game. Sure. Um, but if you don't care about that, which I don't think you care about it as uh, near as much as not as did. much as you, yeah. because I, I think that you have to plan for that. Now it's a two-player game. We made it through all of the almost all of the tiles. So like towards the end, we knew. Now some of the some of the areas that it does kind of bother me, I guess, is you know if at the beginning of the game it just works out in your favor that one of the factory tiles is a, a it did not yeah, come out the be. whiskey factory. So oh that would have been the last tile. You know, let's say the whiskey factory would have been here and John was able to get all the resources that he needs to be able to get that and take that. Well, you're going to get whiskey multiple times. Now, whiskey is probably a bad example because I don't think the whiskey factory is as beneficial as you might think because there's only one whiskey barrel. And so every time it triggers, depends you, on where you, the whiskey barrels at. If you have it there, it wouldn't be, it would be nice here because you still would have to wait. I right, think. Right. The coin yeah. I think would be better. I would rather have the coin yeah, at the beginning that's of the a big game time. to trigger that. But so there are those luck elements. For sure. Getting for sure. to factories early really matters. But you gonna... have to you have to as best you can kind of plan for that. But at the same time, like you said, it's just gonna happen. You know, things are just gonna go your way or just gonna go the opponent's way, and you have to roll with the punches. And hopefully as over the course of the game, it kind of balances out. Yeah. But no, it doesn't always like if, anything else. If this was a two play if this was a two hour game, that would really drive me crazy. But because it's 30 minutes. Because right? it's a lighter game, it doesn't bother me as much. But it is still, a, it, I, I do, it is a negative for me for sure, but just not as much of a negative as yep. it is for you. So final thoughts? Final thoughts. Um, overall, really enjoy this game. This is, is it's becoming one of my favorite like light to medium light um, mm-hmm. two player games. Really enjoy this one quite a bit. Now, I've done this a couple times. I don't usually do this, You're but doing it again? lately I'm bumping wow. my score up just a From hair. the podcast to the mm-hmm. YouTube. So. The more I've had to think about this and I've got some more plays of this game in, I'm going to give this one an eight because wow. I find myself thinking about this game a lot, a yeah. whole lot. Um, I really like these this line, the lookout two player line. I love these games, and this is this is one of my favorite in there. I don't, you know, it's you know the same box size as Targi. It's for me, it's not as good as Targi, um, mm-hmm. but it but it's still one of my favorites in that series. I really like this one quite a bit. So yeah, eight. That's pretty good. I mean, I, I like I said, I do like the rondelle. I like the simplicity of it. I like how fast the game plays. It's enjoyable. There's interesting decisions that you're making. Should I jump ahead? You got that pull and tug and stuff. I like that part of the game. I just 
<coughs> excuse me, I'm not. <coughs> hey. <coughs> Woo. I'm just not. I don't know what a, that is. I, I'm, not, I'm not a huge fan of the luck part here. It also, I know we can argue about what sameness is like in games, and it, it because these are the same tiles every time. Now, of course, they won't all come out. Um, potentially, they may all come out actually, but it's possible they don't all come out in the game. Um, but this is, you know, very similar. Now, these do change the position of them, which I really love that about the game. I would mention that again, because that does change the way the game's played. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's two tiles that will that will not be in the game that, you know, could be in the next game, so forth and so on. I like that. But it's that's that's something that a lot of, like, the two-player small box games, I think, even, yeah. even games I like, um, like, kind of feel... Because they're small, they're short, they're compact, kind of have some of the samey-ish feels to them. So it's nothing that's unique to to this. Um, but I do kind of get those feels, which kind of makes me, the more I play it, I think the less excited I am about playing it, actually. I think you, it's opposite. I, it's opposite, it's opposite for, me. for yeah, yeah. The more I play it, the more I want to play it. Now, I, I, I'm sorry, I don't want to add too much more to this, but I, I agree with you because I do think that some of the tiles could be same. You know... I would love to see an expansion that would sure. really bump this up really because is. you could add more tiles. Now, what that does is it dilutes the luck, you know, because you can't factor in that luck as much if you have more and more tiles. But, you know, maybe if all the architects in this game are the same, maybe if the architects had special abilities or something, you know, each architect was different in how you bought from them. Um, or, you know, something like you said with a variant, an official variant where you can have an extra tile up there that allows you to see what's coming. There's a lot of things that can be done with this, but with the variety because of these, because of the contracts, I think yeah. that changes it quite a bit for me. But I think so. Um, but still, I'm still going to give this... And a more contract tiles. Sorry, I'd love to see more contract tiles. Evan out and of ten. Uh, ten. <laughs> I'm still going to give this a 7 out of 10. Um, meaning I'm usually willing to play this game. Like I, 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 It still has enough fun factor for me with the Raw and Dale and all that stuff to say, yeah, if Dean's going to play this game and says, you want to play Glasgow? It's 30 minutes, 40 minutes. I'm usually going to say, sure. Am I going to recommend it? I'm not going to recommend it. I mean, sometimes maybe, but not 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 a whole lot. Um, but let me ask you this question: Is it worth it for twenty five bucks? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, depending on who you play it is. Games for with. me, it's it's not only because my wife didn't really love it. She yeah. kind of felt similar to me, but even a little bit less. And so because of that, I wouldn't. But if she would have said yes, I like that game, I would easily pick this up for twenty five bucks. Yeah. yeah. And my wife and I deal. play lighter, a lot of lighter games. You know, a long work day or something like that. So this is I think perfect this is for you. perfect for that. Yeah. Exactly right. So eight for me, seven from John. Tell them how they can get in touch with us. All right. If you are enjoying our channel, we'd love for you to subscribe to it. You can also go to MeepleTownGames.com to check out all of our stuff, even get a little swag. Wow. Um, check out our podcast on iTunes and all that kind of stuff. Just search Meeple Town. We're at Meeple Town Game on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and we're Board Game Geek Guild 3407. Thanks for coming down to Meeple Town. Thanks for joining us, and be sure to follow us on Twitter at Meeple Town Games and connect with us on the Meeple Town Guild, Guild number 3407, at BoardGameGeek.com. And also subscribe to our podcast and YouTube channel. And until next time, thanks for coming down to Meeple Town.